my god, why did you run into the fireplace? What is wrong with you guys? For God's sake, no! Oh, he died. How did you live? That's pretty impressive. Hey everyone, Dan here from the Diamond Minecart and welcome to another Minecraft mod review where today I'm going to be showcasing the camping mod which adds some very cool camping style items into your game which means you can enjoy the great outdoors rather than just sitting in your poorly built mud hut at the beginning of your Minecraft life. But anyway, let's get started with the recipes and features and first off you're going to need this. It's called a camping tool and this is how you craft it and this is going to be like the beginning of your camping journey I guess and it works kind of like a wrench does in tech it where you can pick up campfires and tents and stuff with this thing rather than destroying them so originally if you do like kind of mine it with your fist you will break the stuff and get the materials back but with this you will pick up the actual item which is really cool and it's used for crafting later on so the camping tool just needs six roads red dye and three iron ingots to make this and it, it looks pretty cool here it is hello mr camping tool and that is pretty much what the campus tool does so far so onto the campfires now and you've got lots of different ones you got one two three three, four, five different campfires, all with different abilities and features and stuff like that. So this first one is just the regular campfire, and this one's just called a decorative campfire and doesn't actually do anything, so it's not very helpful. It just looks really cool and emits light and stuff, so you need three stone, three torches, and a piece of flint to make the normal campfire, and you're also going to need this to create some of the more colourful campfires later on. So as you can see, you can distinguish between the different campfires by looking at the different colours on the top and the particle effects. So this next one is going to be the multi-cooking campfire and you need a original campfire we just covered and four furnaces to make this and when you right click on this campfire you will see that it has six different slots and yes this can cook six different things at once. Let's put six chickens in here and our lump of coal in here. So you will still need fuel. But the downside to this is that it cooks 2.5 times slower because you're cooking six things at once, which is pretty crazy, but cool at the same time. So you don't have to do all the same item. You can do lots of different items. You can have pork chops. You can have all different stuff in here. And then we'll all cook a bit slower, but all at once, which is a really, really cool feature. So let's just get this to finish up. Go and... Yeah, look at that. All six chickens cooked at once. That is beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. <laughs> so up next, we have this blue looking one, which is called the fast cooking campfire. And for this, you need the original campfire. And you also need three flint and steel like this to create the fast cooking campfire. And when you right click it, you get a rather smaller GUI. And this will actually cook your food 5.7 times faster. So let's bung a load of chickens in here and some coal. And wow, look at this bar go up. Oh my god. Instant chicken. So we've got, you could stick six chickens in the other one. And loads of chickens in here. And you'll have chickens coming out of your ears. So... Yeah, let's stop that before we run out of chicken all together. So, yeah, that is the fast cooking campfire. Up next, we have the cheap cooking campfire. So, this one is a bit unfortunate, but it needs three coal and an ender pearl at the bottom and a campfire in the middle from the first recipe we looked at to make the cheap cooking campfire. So the cheap campfire has a GUI like this and you put coal in the bottom and then chicken at the top to cook as normal. And this is kind of like your cheapest campfire as only... It only has a 25% chance of your item actually making it through the cooker. So even when it's fully cooked, you only have a quarter of a chance of it actually making it out. And it also has a cool 15% chance that it will multiply your food as well. So it might multiply it to two when only taking one chicken away from you. So let's see if we do get our food from this one. Come on, show us the chicken. Just, just show us the chicken, please. So as you can see, this one is a lot slower as well. It may be even slower than the multi one, which is uh, kind of unfortunate. But it is the cheapest one going. And this chicken was going to be way too tasty for you. So I crashed your game. <coughs> and wow, so that one actually crashed my game. So I'm not going to do that again. But oh, here we go. It did actually make our chicken. So let's take this out before it crashes again. But at least you know how it works. I'm not sure why it crashed at all. But hey. It's worked before when I was testing it, but at least you know what it does. 25% chance of your item making it and 50% chance it will multiply. So up next is our last one, which is the Insta Cooking Campfire. And this one is a beast. You need a normal campfire, a green multi-cooking campfire, the blue fast cooking and the cheap cooking campfire around it like this in a crafting table to get the Insta Cooking Campfire. Now this campfire is really powerful. And what you do is pretty much what it says on the tin. You just take your raw food, right click, and it will instantly cook it. 
it. So I now have 65 cooked chickens. So I messed up a little bit, but hey, that is how it works. So look, you've got an instant cooked stack and a bit of chicken, which is amazing. So that is your campfires. They all look really cool. And there's one more thing you can do. You can actually dye your campfires. So if you take one of these original campfires and put any of the dyes below it, so you can take any dye whatsoever and put it in a crafting table, it will emit the same color particles that you dye it. So that is a really cool feature too. So enough of that. And now onto some tasty food, which is nothing but marshmallows marshmallows is the greatest campfire food ever and to craft these you need six sugar one water bottle an egg and a bowl and when you craft this you actually get the bowl back for a little bit extra information there and you get um four marshmallows from that and now you need to prepare them for campfire cooking so you need one stick and one group of marshmallows to make three marshmallow sticks and you need to cook them on the campfire so let's take it over to our insta campfire they can come here and then right click and we've got our cooked marshmallows, so you'll be able to eat them up very, very nicely if I wasn't in creative mode. So yeah, those are your marshmallows, and now on to the tents. So here you can see what the tent looks like. It looks really cool, and your Minecraft player will fit just under here. But first, you need to know how to craft the tent. So here we go. We need, first off, we need the canvas to make the tent, like the material bit of the tent. And for this, you will need the campus tool that we created at the beginning of the episode and six string to make 12 canvas. So that's pretty generous and pretty cool. And you also need some tent pegs too. So one iron ingot in the crafting table with your campus tool will get you tent pegs. And also when you use the crafting recipes with campus tools included, you will get the tools back. So you don't have to keep crafting campus tools over and over again, and you'll get a hundred uses out of each one. So you take the canvas and the tent pegs, put them in a pattern like this. So five canvas, two tent pegs will get you a tent. And you just take the tent like this, right click, and it will appear like this, which is looking really awesome. But there are two types of tent you can have, which is the storage tent and the sleeping tent. Now the sleeping tent, you need something other than normal bed. You need yourself a sleeping bag. So a sleeping bag is made by taking three wool in a line. So you pretty much just do the bed recipe without the wood and you've got yourself a sleeping bag. So if you take this sleeping bag and right click on a tent it will create a tent that you can sleep in which is really awesome and then the storage tent you create by right clicking with a chest so you've got the storage tent which can store up to 64 slots which is really cool and it's pretty much the same as a chest and then you have the sleeping tent which obviously you can sleep in but it is not night so yeah those are really cool they look really awesome as well i really like the look of this storage tent and we've actually got some more things to look at too which are camping bags so these kind of work like backpacks you need lots of canvas for this so canvas in a square with a gap in the middle will make the small camping bag so i'll take one of those then you do the same recipe with a small camping bag in the middle for a normal camping bag and then you have to put the normal camping bag in the middle of the original recipe for a large camping bag. So if you take one of these and right click, you will see you have a little bit of storage space. So let's take half the chickens and put it in here. And it won't be in your normal inventory like this. It will only be in this inventory. So it's kind of like a really useful backpack. And when you get to camping bag, you've got double the slots and then a large one has triple the slot so the large one is definitely better you can store a lot of items pretty much yeah it's double your inventory space which is a really really nice feature i really like that a lot now the final thing are radishes and camper mobs so the radishes are just like normal kind of food basically but the difference is you can just plant these in normal grass and they won't take very long to grow at all it only takes like i think it's less than five minutes which is cool let me just grab some bone meal so I can show you what they look like fully grown. Uh, and these will, yeah, they look really cool. They're just like pink with uh, big radish radishy leaves. And these will heal one hunger or two halves of a hunger bone. So basically, that is your radishes. They are really cool. They can be placed on dirt and grass. So you don't even need a hoe to do it which is true camper style, I believe. And speaking of campers, we also have the final part of the mod, which is the camper mob. So these will appear in male and female form. As you can see, the female is on the right and the camper is on the left, the male one. And look at that sheep. That is an epic image right there. Look at that. just to get distracted and these will spawn randomly in forest and plains biomes with the with a single tent and they will also spawn with one of these um fireplaces so obviously this would be the most common and then it goes down to like three percent chance of having a instant cooking campfire so yeah these will randomly spawn throughout your world when you spawn them in and we'll have tents ready and available at a camping site so it's getting dark this sheep is looking epic
and that is pretty much what this camping mod has to offer so if you do like what you see and want to play it for yourself which i would highly recommend it's a really well worked mod and it is really cool as well it all works really nicely and just adds that extra bit to minecraft rather than going out and building houses and stuff you can still build an empire but it can be a camping empire too so yeah really really awesome so yeah if you do want to go and download it check the description below to check it out it will link you to the planet minecraft post where you can download this also if you're new to the channel and did enjoy this video and commentary then please do hit that subscribe button for daily minecraft videos and for all of you a like and a favorite would be greatly appreciated too so thanks a lot for watching please do check out this mod it's really cool tell them dan sent you from the diamond minecart and thanks a lot guys for watching so that's it from me i've been dan from the diamond minecart and all i have to say oh god all i have to say is goodbye